<laughs> so stage combat was fun today. Uh, nine in the morning. Gotta love getting active super bright and early to the point of like absolute soreness everywhere on your body. Good times. Okay, so now I am back at the flat. I'm about to eat lunch and then I need to go down and print stuff. I feel like it's the past like two weeks I've been printing more things than I've printed the entire semester. Just cause like every week I'm like, it's like playwriting printing, gotta print for playwriting, ah! And so gotta print for playwriting. Um, and then I have a meeting with Mark at 1.45 or like uh, individual sessions, so it's like two students and then just Mark, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I gotta do that. And then after that, I have to pack. I don't even know. Honestly, after playwriting's done, my life, all that stress that I was talking about yesterday, honestly gone, like it is, it is gone. Stage combat was done, that's a load off. Now once playwriting is done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel free this weekend. It's going to be great. But lunch now. One try, straight up one try. Number one. So good. So good. Oh. So good. <laughs> Gotta print something and then and then meeting with Mark. I'm not a fan of how whenever you start up a computer that you haven't used before, you have to, it like has to like load everything and it takes a lot longer. Because like, I usually use one computer because I know of that problem, but today someone was using that computer and so I had to use a different one. And I was like, why? Why does it make me take so long? It ended up being okay. I'm like early, so all is well. Great. I was so worried about my scene and it, it ended up being, I, yeah, I just, I feel really good now after all of that, all, all of the stress. I feel, I feel much better about everything because stage combat went well, playwriting went well. So before the actual class, we had the meeting thing um, and he said my story was really good, which was the first, that's like step number one. <laughs> and so that's done. And for whatever reason, this thing won't focus. There we go. Um, so the story was good, which is like the building block. If that's not good, then I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Um, and he said, he was like, oh, that's very good. And I was like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. And then um, I read my scene in class and, and it was good too. And that, and it just, it felt, <laughs> it just felt really good to have that happen. Um, now it's just a matter of writing more scenes. But a lot of stress has, I have like, a lot of stress has gone away and I feel a lot better about everything. Um, and so now I'm about to eat dinner really quick because in like 30 minutes, I think, we are going down to the lecture theater. We're gonna go down and see Robert Icke. He's gonna come talk to us, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, he directed 1984 and uh, Red Barn, which were both shows that we saw. So we did like have some experience with his work, which is really, really cool. Um, and he's actually a pretty acclaimed director here. Um, I looked him up on Wikipedia, and Josh was just yelling earlier about um, how the, his resume is like really good. So that's like awesome. That's really cool. Dinner time. As we wait for Robert Ike, we get free food. There he is. I mean, I'm gonna go Robert Ike. Bye. 
I'm gonna talk really fast about that um, because it is like 9.30 and I need to pack still and then go to bed because I have to wake up at like 3.30 tomorrow. Um, so, <clears throat> that was awesome. Like, honestly awesome. <laughs> Robert Icke is a genius. Uh, very much the entire time, you could like feel the energy in the room just being like sucking you in because everyone wanted to hear what he had to say. He was just like very blunt and honest about a lot of things and like, um, and he like showed different perspectives on, on like aspects of theater and like what he believes um, like theater should be used for and like his opinions on different spaces and, um, and how like showing big perspectives versus, um, or showing like big ideas versus like individual perspectives can sometimes be good and also showing the opposite perspective to kind of like jar people can be like a good idea um oh god and like just the way he spoke it was just everyone was like super listening because he wasn't speaking very loudly but everyone was so dead silent because they wanted to hear him that it it's like that that like wisp almost that like that like very low low speaking voice not low like tone but like soft speaking voice he had it kind of made everyone even more engaged it was really crazy um so yeah, that was awesome. Honestly, I'm so glad that we got to do that. And then everyone afterwards like was kind of just like stayed in the room with him there just to kind of be in his presence. It was, it was a little weird, but it was still pretty cool. Just like being able to look at him and I was like, wow, this guy, this guy has done some stuff. Like, jeez. And it was so cool because he was like referencing a lot of the stuff to the stuff that, or to the shows that we've seen that he's directed. And so, and so that made it really easy to relate to what he was talking about. Um, so yeah, super thumbs up. FSU, if you see this, that was a great choice, whoever did that. I think it was Lee, um, he's, who's one of the teachers. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I have my passport and I have my boarding pass, but I need to pack and, and shave. And then I'm going to bed, because I gotta wake up so early. So, I'll see you in Paris. That's a lie, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Before I go to Paris. Yeah.